Let's talk about the IMF projections. I'm at the global slump and several countries going through a slowdown. The IMF has predicted India to be the fastest growing economy, saying India's economy will grow fastest at 6.1. So from 6.8%, it becomes 6.1%. And then the IMF says it'll go back to 6.8%. And that's why the International Monetary Fund has referred to India as the bright spot amid all of the gloom. The IMF has projected that India's growth will continue to be very much on track and much more than many developed countries. In a world of financial gloom and doom, India is the shining light. The International Monetary Fund in its annual growth projection has given a resounding thumbs up to the Indian economy. Despite a global growth dip. The IMF's projection for India is a slight dip from 6.8% in 2022 to 6.1% in 2023. But India is expected to grow at 6.8% again in the financial year 2024. This means that India is the fastest growing economy in the world, with the current estimates surpassing growth in developed countries as well. Prime Minister Modi, also referring to the IMF figures, hailed India's growth story and how the world now is looking to India to shine. Bharat ka budget, Bharat ke samanye manvi ki asha akangshao ko to pura karne ka prayas karega hi, lekin vishwa jo आशा की किरण देख रहा है उसे वो और अधिक प्रकाशमान नजर आए मुझे पूरा भरोसा है निर्मला जी इन अपेक्षाओं को पूर्ण करने के लिए भरपूर प्रयास करेगी लुकिंग एट द फिगर्स इट्स क्लियर इंडिया इज सर्जिंग अहेड वाइल अदर कंट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग चाइना आर वे बिहाइंड द सर्वे लुक्स अहेड टू द मीडियम टर्म बिकॉज the pandemic response and recovery phase is over. In fact, Chapter 1, the title itself says, State of the Economy, Recovery Complete. And therefore, after a long time, we have banking, non-banking and corporate sectors with healthy balance sheets, and they are ready to borrow and lend and invest. So we don't have to speak about pandemic recovery anymore. We have to look ahead to the next phase of India's economic growth process. While India's growth rate is at 6.1%, the projection for China is 5.2%. Other countries are feeling the slowdown. America will see a growth rate at 1.4%. The UK is struggling with an economic crisis. And the IMF projection has painted a gloomy picture for the country in the days to come. I would say compared to our forecasts in October last year, uh, the U.S. and the Europe surprised on the upside. U.S. because labor markets continue to remain strong. Europe because the winter turned out to be warmer than feared. So that has both helped. And then we have China. So China it moved dramatically away from its zero COVID policy. So we're going to have a couple of months where things are going to be very tough in China. But then we expect to see a rebound happening in China's economy. So there are certainly some positive turning points. The IMF's projection has made it clear that India is the only ray of hope in a year that will be difficult for the world. Get this. Based on the IMF's forecast, India and China will account for half of global growth this year. Experts largely have hailed India's growth story but have also warned that caution cannot be thrown to the wind. We are an attractive country. We are a country with 1.4 billion people. We have, a per cap, uh, we have a GDP of 3 trillion, so you will see people coming in. Is it more incremental? And therefore, is the spending that we're doing necessary to get them in? You know, even as we move to uh, a $10 trillion economy in, say, a decade or more, uh, we would still be $6,000 per capita income. So there would be a role of the state to protect those who are in the margins. So we are never going to open up are uh, vulnerable folks to the market forces because you know they never trust a benevolent politician and a benevolent market both of them don't exist so we will have to have a mix of both and that is going to be the India model but we are going to do something different India is unstoppable and surging ahead to achieve the five trillion dollar by 2025 goal as envisioned by Prime Minister Modi Bureau report 
India Today.